worship family. It's Thanksgiving week and final preparations are being made here to try to get Sunday ready as well as all the details that are still coming together for Christmas Village. And we know you probably are making final preparations for all that is Thanksgiving in your life for your family and your friends as they gather together. I just wanted to share with you a scripture verse as the worship arts family of Cross Life Church. And the scripture is found in Psalm 86. Psalm 86, beginning in verse 8, says this, There is none like you among the gods, O Lord, nor are there any works like yours. All the nations you have made shall come and worship before you, O Lord and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things. You alone are God. Teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I give thanks to you, O Lord my God, with my whole heart, and I will glorify your name forever. That last verse, in fact, the whole tone of all of that, uh, Psalm 86, is the theme of thanksgiving, the feel, the substance of thanksgiving. God, I give thanks to you, O Lord, my God, the personal relationship we have with God. With my whole heart, I give thanks. Not just a tip of the hat, a nod, um, a pleasantry, but a passionate heart of thanksgiving to God. And my heart is so moved to thankfulness for what God has done in my life, my family, my church, my worship arts family, as we worship together each week, that he, he goes on to make this promise, and we join him in that promise that I will glorify your name forever. That's what we do every Sunday. It's what we do every Wednesday night when we come together to rehearse. It's what we do as we prepare for Christmas Village as we're going to have thousands of people that we're going to be able to present the message in song of God's love and God's truth about how he can save and redeem. About, of course, that story that is so familiar to us, but to the outside world, becoming much more dim and not as uh, biblically, biblically literate, if you will, especially even about Christmas. Uh, and it's the baby in a manger that is actually the king, the God, the savior in a manger. We know that story. We're going to sing it. We're going to proclaim it many, many times over. And uh, I pray that you're thinking through the Thanksgiving holiday and you're taking some time to consider your blessings, as the old hymn would say, to count your blessings. And yeah, you'll probably run out of fingers and toes, and that's a good thing. Start all over again as we consider the great things that God has done for us. And I just want you to know that I consider you as a worship arts family part of what makes me thankful this Thanksgiving season. To be able to worship with you, to be able to do music together with you, to be able to move the hearts and lives of people and the voices of people to exalt God, to magnify Him, to adore Him, to draw closer to Him. It's, an, it's a powerful thing. It's an honorable thing. It's a privilege, and I'm glad that we're doing it together. I pray that you have a safe, a joyous, a wonderful Thanksgiving. Be blessed, and let me pray for you right now. God, would you please grant to each person in the Worship Arts family of Cross Life Church a blessed and wondrous and memorable Thanksgiving, that we would take some time to consider how you have worked in our lives and all that you've done for us, and to grant you a blessing in return, to, to bless you, God, by thankful hearts, thankful lives, thankful tongues, as we appreciate all that you've done for us over the past year, and what you've done in our life, what you've done in our church services, how you've moved time and again. God, I thank you for these folks, and I pray that you just bless them, bless them indeed, exceedingly above all they could ask or imagine as they follow Christ. And I pray for this Thanksgiving blessing in the name that is the greatest I've ever known. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. God bless. 
have an awesome Thanksgiving.